Oh God, what, what have I done? All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you saw in my little intro, we, uh, we've we decided to branch out. Um, and not, not within our lane. Uh, people have asked, hey, where do you find Land Rovers? I want a Land Rover like that. And actually, sorry, that's wrong. I just personally want more Land Rovers and I think uh, Mike does too. So we've, uh, we've made some Land Rover purchases. We purchased a few uh, interesting old Land Rovers and they will be showing up periodically throughout this week. So the first one will be showing up today. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It is a 09 uh, white Range Rover Sport. And it is coming in on a truck, not while I'm home. And uh, I clicked a button on the internet and a white Land Rover will be, probably be in my driveway around four o'clock today. And I won't be home. So we're gonna go to uh, a little gathering this afternoon. I told I told the shipping company, literally drop it off anytime this afternoon. Like we're dropping it off this afternoon. So yeah, I hopefully will come back from a party and there will be a hopefully not too broken Land Rover in my driveway. So. The next scene will be that Land Rover, uh, and we'll give you the first look. So that's coming up in a second. All right, so we're on our way home, and uh, we're gonna find out if I'm I have a semi-secret power of finding a good deal, or if I'm a total idiot. Because there's a new to me 2009 Range Rover Sport that's gonna be parked outside of my house that was dropped off sight unseen. Oh, I can see it, and uh, we're gonna see it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. All right, so I was not home, and they just dropped it off. And it's, uh, it's a little dirty because uh, it was on a transport truck. But it is here, and the hood is kind of popped. So we'll see what that means. Okay. Okay. A little dirty, a little dirty, not too bad. The headliner's not falling in. I don't hate it, slight cracks in the dash. <sighs> Do I have mats? Ah, no mats. But, it has arrived and these are Pirelli's. These are 2020 Pirelli's. So it's got new tires. This is a, again, this is a 2009. I think this hitches on backwards. Oh, I was concerned about British Atlantic. Oh man, hold on. Has this been converted to coils? Uh, I don't, it, I don't know. I don't think so. I think they've just been replaced. I hate to say I'm slightly confused with that. Okay, a little bit of sun damage on the door, but not terrible. This is suspect. All right, let me uh, let me get the keys. Okay. Oh man, problem number one. So I have a half key and it started, bonnet open, check engine light. I'm, I'm just surprised it started. Look at that. Whoo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is, this is a sight unseen purchase. This was purchased because look. 113,000 miles. Not that bad. Let's uh let's check it out. Two thousand nine. So it's a 4.4 Jag V8 with a six-speed ZF transmission. So this is the kind of the package you want when you're looking for one of these, Alaska White. It's idling. That's a, uh, looks like a newer battery too. 
Yep, that's a brand new battery. So again, we're not doing too bad so far. She's a little dirty, but she's got new tires and new battery and she started. The problem is it don't have a clicker for it, which that might be able to get sorted out. So let's, uh, let's take it around the block. Woo, yeah. come explore with me. <laughs> All right, so it started, that's, that's good news. Um, so this is a 2009 Range Rover Sport. This is the seat, seat works. What do we got here? So we've got the updated traction management system. A little dirty. A little dirty, right? Let's, um, I don't have any air suspension lights. So I saw the Atlantic British um, struts, which I have to do some research. They might, this might have already been converted to coils, which again, I wouldn't be mad about, honestly. So let's uh, see if it runs and drives here. So it's switching to low gear. Low range selected. Yep. Low range works. Mirror tilts. No problems there. Neutral. Put it back into high. Nothing there. What's that? I don't know. Oh, here's a bill from Fort Myers uh, Land Rover. Not too long ago. Not too long ago, 2021. Uh, coolant, remove, replace thermostat gaskets. Yeah, so this just had, wow, thermostat stays brake line. So we've got new brake lines, new thermostat, new seal, and a bunch of other stuff. There's oh, more. There's, oh, there's more. Anything else? Oh, man. Yeah, so that's the total bill there. Oh. All right, not bad. So let me uh, let me get it out. Uh, we'll spin through the neighborhood and check it out. I even got a half tank of fuel. All right, we're back. So, quick spin. Um, so far, so good. I'm pretty sure um, that it is on coils, which absolutely not mad about. Everything else seems pretty good. Um, brakes seem fine. Suspension feels fine. No clunks. It doesn't feel like I've got any uh, like control arm issues or anything like that. Um, Again, running and driving great. Obviously no, you know, cooling system issues or anything like that. Um, transmission shifting good. It's got heated seats. They're working. Um, I feel like, is the AC on? It feels like it. I feel like the AC is on. Yeah, AC is on. Tires feel fine. Everything feels very normal, actually. Um, again, I'm still pretty, uh, I'm still pretty impressed. Let's uh, let's go down an alley here and check out the low range. Again, this is this is first walk around. This is first view, not washed. I still have the stickers on it and everything. Um, actually, I'm not even due for an oil change yet. It says it's raising, but I don't. The light isn't on. Let's see what it does. Yeah, the lights aren't illuminated here, so. But I don't have a suspension error warning. So again, I'm going to assume that we're on coils. Uh, all right. So neutral, low range. We're at low range. And it is working. I don't know why I find that such an important thing to check, um, but I do it often just because I feel like a lot of these cars have never gone into low range before. You know, I should, I'll, check, I'll check the tire pressures, that should alleviate the warning and uh, probably run the, the, the codes as well. So again, that, che that test checked out flying colors. We're gonna shift back to high, our train management button, see if that works as well. No issues. And uh, cool. Again, this is exciting. This was a sight unseen purchase from an auction in Florida. And so far, again, clean Carfax. Everything on paper looked fine. But I didn't have an inspection report from the actual auction company, which most of them do. I just kind of was going on a gut feeling. So, again, that's why, you know, I mentioned before, I'm either an idiot or I feel like I got a good deal. 
and so far everything seems to check out so let's uh let's pull it back in the driveway and do a walk around. all right last test parking brake oh buddy the parking brake works We'll disengage and disengages. All right. Ah, okay. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's check it out from the outside again. So so far, again, runs and drives great. On coils, new tires, brakes look okay. I have to review what was on the. Uh, yeah, those are definitely coils. That's awesome. I have to review what's on the um, the last ticket from the records that came with it. Not rusty. What? Two keys. Two keys? Maybe, the key, maybe, maybe there's some more keys in it. I'll look around for some more keys. Tailgate works. Hatch. Oops. Oh, oh, that might have. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So there is no tailgate. It does double. All right. I got all that stuff. Parking sensors. So, nope. Pretty, pretty happy so far. It's not, oh, look, heated seats, heated seats in the back. Wow. Got a little rubber smell. Uh, I really wish I, there was more potential keys. No, easy pass, trailer stuff. Damn, all right, well, I guess I lost the, uh, so I lost the bet on the keys, but it's okay. We'll, we'll figure that part out. So yeah, that's uh welcome to the Range Rover Sport. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'll definitely do a little bit of a follow-up on it now, but that's what I got for the first impressions and walk around. All right, so again, this is not the full reveal of this car. This is first initial impressions. Again, 09 Range Rover Sport on coils, 113,000 miles good maintenance history um so far feels great i love it i really like how uh, how it drives um it feels pretty taut it's got good grip nice tires um again it's these things just like i was talking about before with the lx the, the lexus land cruiser when you put one of these on street tires it you forget how decent it is plus with the uh and with how firm the non-air suspension is, I get it. This thing doesn't feel bad. I'm carving it up a little bit. Let's uh, let's hit a corner real quick. And this isn't even the supercharged one. It's just a normal, naturally aspirated one. So, I this is a this is a winning combination. I think I'm kind of falling for a sport. I get it. I'm in. More sports. Fighting the DSC a little bit, but that's okay. These things, uh, these things were kind of engineered to be on the conservative side. But yeah, no, no, I'm in. I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm 09 rich people. This, uh, this is a good way to spend your money. So yeah, this is again initial impressions. Um, stay tuned. More of the sport. Thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe and uh, check out the rest of the videos on my channel. Thank you.